Hang around to the end of the video for your chance to win a copy of This Tender Land by William Kent Kruger. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Right off the bat, this book isn't out yet, but I wanted to get a little buzz going uh, before it actually comes out. It does not come out until February 2nd. Wow, February 2nd of 2021. So next year, next February, this will be out. I'll do a book birthday to remind you guys to go uh, to go pick it up. Uh, but I highly suggest you pre-order it because this is a fantastic book uh, that is good Neighbors by Sarah Langan. Um, I don't know if you can see this on the screen or not. Uh, this cover doesn't show up well. Yeah, I think that's better. I don't know. Maybe in a, maybe in post I can clean it up a bit. But uh, so right off the bat, I've I've heard of uh, Langan. Langan. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Langan before. Um, I, I have. I even have a couple of her horror novels on my TBR. This is not a horror novel, although it does have notes of a horror novel. Uh, if you like paranoia, if you like uh, if if you like scenarios, stressful scenarios, um, if you like people being accused of something they didn't do and trying to clear their name, uh, if you like climactic endings, uh, this this book is fantastic. Um, I am. There was a couple of points in the book where I was like, eh, I, I could be moving a little bit faster. And that is toward the middle of the book. The beginning and the ending are absolutely amazing. Um, the stuff in the middle did kind of, I, I'm sorry, it, it kind of droned on for me. And I read this one with my friend Tracy. Um, and I believe Tracy felt the same way that there were certain, and this is a, this is a hella short book, um, 200 and... 90, 300 pages, something like that. Um, the stuff in the middle kind of went on a little too long for my liking and her liking. Um, I, I'm giving this four stars. Uh, for those of you that don't want to hear anything else other than my uh, rating, I'm giving this a solid four stars. And the only reason for that four stars is I didn't absolutely uh, love it. You know, I didn't fall in love with it. It is a good book. It is a great book. It is not an amazing book. Um, and that's not a knock to the author. Uh, that's that's just me saying it didn't do as much for me as maybe, you know, some other books that have been five stars for me. I hope that makes sense. Uh, but it's not to say that this book isn't good. It is very, very good. The, uh, the characters are fantastically done. Uh, I liked the, the Wilds family. I even liked Rhea's family to, to a certain extent, like maybe not her, uh, but I did understand her motivations and all that. I, I completely grasped that. Uh, but I, there, I don't know if I was supposed to like the rest of her family or not, because I did. Uh, Shelly, um, and even, even the husband Fritz FJ, I don't, I don't know about, uh, that they, they were there, but there are characters in here that you, that you love to hate. There are characters in here that you, you understand their motivations, even though they, they suck as human beings. Um, you, you really, you really get to know them. And I think Rhea's character, uh, stands out as probably the best character in the book. She is so well described and so nuanced. Um, her, the backstory, everything is done so well with that character, kind of outshined, outshone, whatever, everyone else uh, in the actual book. Uh, there, there's something, there was a, there was a, I don't know, there was more depth to her character. Um, the, In fact, with the other characters, I've kind of lost, uh, I, I finished the book about a week ago, I've kind of, you know, not, I can't remember their names, but I remember Rhea very, very well, and I remember Shelly because the entire plot of the book basically revolves around Shelly. If you would like to win a copy of This Tender Land by William Kent Kruger, can't remember this dude's name, <laughs> um, if you'd like to win it, uh, email the time signature that I'm talking about the book right now. Email that to edwardlorn at gmail.com. That's edward, L-O-R-N, at gmail.com. Um, to say a little bit more about the plot, the plot is about this uh, sh this crescent street. It's a street shaped in the crescent. There's even pictures of it in the book. I'm not going to show it, but um, there's there's like a map, kind of like a fantasy you know, world kind of map environment kind of thing. Uh, and across the street from this row of houses in the suburbs is a, uh, a park. And during, I think, a barbecue, uh, there's a sinkhole that opens up and things are lost down in the 
people and something else is lost now that's why i say things um it's not just one person that gets lost but there's also something else that gets lost and the something else that gets lost comes back later on as as an explanation for something that i thought was going like full-blown supernatural horror <clears throat> excuse me so if you if you're going into this wondering whether or not there's supernatural aspects if you're one of those people who thinks that that ruins books then you're going to be happy here because there's no supernatural aspect whatsoever this is a straightforward thriller it does have some very very good horror aspects to it there's a scene underground that is absolutely amazing um i think that's when the book started picking up again for me is dur during that underground scene I had very very hard Stephen King it vibes very very strong Stephen King it vibes I loved it um, there's a point but there's a point where one character is just hollering the same thing over and over again um, I don't want to spoil it but that that was very poignant for me that hit me really really hard um, I enjoyed that about the book the writing is phenomenal um, I know up front I know I know there's going to be people like, oh, the, the, the middle's slow. The middle isn't really slow, but the middle did not interest me as much as the rest of the book, I guess is what it is. There's some great stuff in there. It just didn't interest me as much, and it felt like it was going on a bit too long. That's just my own personal opinion. I have a feeling everyone else is just going to blow right through this book um, because I never wanted to put it down. I never wanted to stop reading it. I enjoyed reading it the entire time, but there was a point where I was like, okay, something else needs to happen, and it went on a little bit longer than I was comfortable with, and then finally the uh, the denouement began, and I was I was back to loving it again. So I'm gonna give it four stars. Uh, that's Good Neighbors by Sarah Langan. Um, it, had you read this one? Did you get uh, your hands on a uh, on an ARC? If you did, let me know. If, if you come across this video later next year uh, or in 2021, and you've already read the book and are looking for other reviews, let me know what you thought of the book, whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it. If you did love it, if you did hate it, hate it, let me know why you loved it or hated it so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.